Now to help you imagine the real BTP project, here I am bringing a 3D BTP project model, which I generally explain at the beginning of BTP architect training. Here you can see different skill set person working in their core areas in a big BTP project. So first have a look on BTP managers activities. This person is responsible for all the BTP platform setup related activities like landscape setup activities, like dev, quality and production sub account, user and developer onboarding, role assignments, entitlement enablements and various admin related activities. Then comes to the application developer, who is kind of a hero in this picture, who is mainly developing applications, services using cloud application programming model in business application studio, maintaining code base versions and collaborating with others using Git, then developing applications and deploying it in Cloud Foundry runtime, and also responsible for application service securities using app router, XSUA based microservices. And on top of that, application developer would be responsible for job scheduling, for batch data processing, then developing alert notification services, then cloud workflow based developments as well. Then to develop any application, we need data, right? And here we'll be using HANA Cloud as our primary database option. Here we'll be building S4 HANA side-by-side -side extension application in BTP. For that, we need to bring data from S4 HANA. And we'll be working on smart data integration for this particular purpose. We'll work on data virtualization, flow graph building, replication task for data transformation and loading into HANA Cloud. So when we'll have all our data in HANA Cloud, We'll be developing data models in Business Application Studio. We'll learn how to build calculation views, database procedures, and so other artifacts. And we'll be consuming all these database artifacts in our application services as well. When we are ready with application backend business logics and data, then we'll be building low code and no code based application front end. And we'll work on CRUD queue operations. Then we'll be working on intelligent technologies to build chatbots. And also we'll be seeing how to bring automations with intelligent technologies using IRPA. So as I said earlier, there will be lots of learning and all with real project use case scenarios. And this is just a sneak peek. You will be learning lots of lots of tools, technologies, frameworks, microservices, and various BTP based solutions.